I think one of the anti-patterns that we try to stay away from is AI for the sake of AI. We're really focused on does AI bring something unique? And oftentimes it doesn't. So we have to be very careful that we don't fall into this trap of irrational exuberance and really focus on the quality of the experiences that we're trying to create. Welcome to the CIO Corner. Here's where we will talk to IT leaders about the biggest challenges and opportunities that we face when it comes to integrating technology into the enterprise. Today, I'm joined by Anthony Moisant, the Chief Information Officer at Indeed, the number one job site in the world that connects millions of people with hiring opportunities every day through the power of AI. Anthony, it's great to have you here, my friend, and we are here at Dreamforce. It's an amazing day. It's really a treat to spend time with you. We will be speaking a lot about agents, a new platform called Agent Force. So we're excited about what that will do, not only for us, for our customers, for our customers' customers. And in your space, I guarantee you that the audience of our video today will be incredibly interested in knowing how Indeed is using AI. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? So it Indeed is obviously the, the, the largest marketplace for job seekers and employers out there matching job seekers with opportunities. And, you know, AI has revolutionized the hiring market as it has every other, you know, market out there. From our perspective, uh, the, the opportunity for AI isn't just AI for the sake of AI. It's actually to strip the sand out of gears of our job seekers, uh, of the employers, making matches, more, more quality matches over time. It's a complicated environment. You know, I, I think about our own experience, right? People apply to jobs here at Salesforce, people from all kinds of backgrounds, all kinds of skill sets, to be able to navigate through the complexity of assessing candidates and determining who's best for the job is still, at least in, in my perspective, hugely dependent on humans making those decisions. How do you see that changing over time? You know, paradoxically, we, we actually think hiring is the most human thing that we can do. And AI is getting rid of those things that are toilsome, that, that are in the way of having better connectivity with people. How do we match to candidates uh, with AI? I think it's the same way that we've matched in, in, in the past. It really is understanding the strengths of an individual and understanding the strengths of an opportunity and marrying those two together. It's uh, really, really incredible. We truly believe that an AI enterprise is the enterprise of the future. And when you start now combining AI, in the form of agents and you put those agents next to humans, we truly believe that the potential to create great customer experiences, drive customer success is huge. How do you see agents uh, working within Indeed and what type of influence can they have in the future? You know, imagine your hiring panel of the future being empowered through AI agents as an example. So I think from a business perspective, that is a tremendous opportunity for us. On the back end, I think customer support, customer success is really important to Indeed. And so everything from helping our customers onboard to, to be better at hiring, uh, to being able to manage their spend and their, their job advertising, we think that, that autonomous agents can help with, with not just onboarding, but also managing the process end to end. You know, I, I really like that. And as managers and leaders in the business, one of the most critical responsibilities we have is to hire the right talent for the company. Absolutely. And if you can have agents, assistants that can help you take action in selecting the best possible candidate, that wins. And, and to avoid the distractions that gets in the way of a yeah. great conversation, right? Hiring needs to be human. It needs to be fast. It needs to be fair. If we can strip out those things that are toilsome, we believe we can just have a better conversation between our hiring managers and our job seekers. And as these models learn, you can continue to refine them to the point that you take more bias out of the entire process, Absolutely. which is critical. Absolutely. But how are you uh, ultimately measuring the value that some of these technologies and solutions are bringing forward? There are two areas that we're deeply focused on. One is our go-to-market teams, and the other is our engineering teams, our product development teams. And in both cases, we're measuring through productivity, as you might as you might imagine, but the quality is the other side of this. So everything from quality code to quality conversations with our customers, and we are basically doing a lot of NPS work. Are you having better experiences with Indeed when you talk to us, when you engage with us? And so quality is, is a very specific uh, goal of ours beyond just uh, productivity. You know, I, I saw a statistic, an internal stat in my group last, uh, last week in, in the period that we measured, 
the amount of usage of our code generator. Out of 60,000 lines of code that were promoted to production, 16,000 came from our automatic code generator. That's amazing. Uh, you know, that's true productivity. And that's it has absolutely. to be, of course, replaced with something else, but it's true productivity improvement. Where do you see those, those developers, the junior level developers out there that are maybe now getting a, an assist, a superpower through AI? What are they doing now? Think about the, the brand new developer coming into a company. They don't know how we've built code. They don't understand all of our code repositories. They don't understand our practices and the principles that we use to build technology just yet. But now, if you pair them with an IT agent, an assistant, someone who's actually helping them, not only provide instructions, but also help them take action, you have a winning proposition for the developer who will now be able to spend more time understanding and learning how to develop technology for the company from a larger perspective. It's connected again with what you guys are doing with Indeed. Yeah. The, the job of bringing someone into the company is not, doesn't just simply stop at the moment that you actually hire them, right? That's the beginning of, that's the, the, beginning of the journey. Yeah. And that's what's exciting to me, Anthony, because I really think, in all honesty, that in time, you will see the entire life cycle of an employee in a company from hire to retire being influenced by AI. Is that the way you see it? Absolutely. You know, one of the things we were, we did a developer focused uh, event recently. We were talking about this where, you know, the very best engineers of the future will be the best at leveraging AI. And I think that will apply to every area of, of our business, uh, no doubt. So you think that at some point in time through the use of these technologies, the, the recruiters, the people who are responsible for hiring will be able to to focus more on that human interaction, on the quality of the work, rather than some of the routine tasks that are being conducted today because the technology is not. And we're already seeing that. You're already right? seeing when it. When it takes you three and four and five days to onboard onto a new team, that's three and four and five days where you're not servicing the customer, that you're not building great product. And we're already seeing some really sizable uh, uh, improvements. I agree. Of, of course, I work for Salesforce. And uh, I try to be as objective as possible when it comes to these technologies. But I do think that the future is incredibly bright for us who manage and support technologies as it relates to the use and application of Gen AI. And when you look at the uh, work that we've been doing here inside of Salesforce with the build out of agents on our agent platform, where now you can have agents that support your customer service, agents that support sales, right? agents that support IT and finance and any function in the organization to just complement the work that humans do, to me, I think that's a winner. You know, I think that one of the most important things that humanity has ever done is figure out how to leverage the effect of a network. And now you can take that same effect through autonomous agent AIs. I think it's, it's going to be incredibly powerful. I think that's perfect to end our discussion today, Anthony. I certainly appreciate you being here with me. I'm a huge fan of what you and your company do, and I wish you great success in this AI journey. Please check out the links in the description below, and be sure to stay tuned for more episodes of CIO Corner.